Just behind that door is the John Morse room. The last time that Mrs. Borden was seen alive around 9 a.m. was by her stepdaughter, the infamous Lizzie Borden, and the maid, Bridget. At the time Mrs. Borden was killed, Lizzie's sister, Emma, was out of town, and Mr. Borden was out in Fall River, as was Uncle John. Lizzie said she was downstairs ironing handkerchiefs. Mrs. Borden was killed in the room where her Uncle John had slept the night before. This is now one of the most requested rooms for overnight stays in the historic Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House and Museum, the John Morse Room, also known as the Murder Room. There was no sign of a struggle, and she had no defensive wounds. Peculiar, isn't it? The evidence is unclear whether she was facing her attacker, didn't fight back or couldn't fight back, or whether she was standing up or kneeling. But we do know where the wounds were. One blow struck her above her ear on the left-hand side of her head. Another blow between her shoulder blades that was four inches deep. The remaining 17 blows were to the back of her head and neck for a total of 19. She was eventually found face down in a pool of her own coagulated blood. Between the blood and the stomach contents of both victims, we could put her time of death around 9.30 a.m., a full hour and a half prior to Mr. Borden's murder. In the photo on the wall in the dining room, where the autopsy was done, you can see she is lying flat on her stomach, and you can see the pool of blood around her head. In the mirror, you can see the camera that took the photo. Did you know that the Borden crime scene photos were the first crime scene photos in the United States? How's that for a morbid, fun fact? <laughs>